Hi everyone, and the today's review is The House at the End of the Street. Main characters Jennifer Lawrence as Elisa, Elizabeth Shue as Sarah, and Max Theoretz as Ryan. Sarah and her daughter Elisa find their own dream house in a small rural town. Years earlier, in the house next door, her daughter killed her parents and disappeared, leaving behind her brother Ryan as the sole survivor. Still living in the house, Ryan is surrounded by deep mysteries. I must say that this story is really good and mysterious until the very end where you have the complete explanation of uh, what it happened and how it happened and you can measure what Ryan has to endure all these years being somebody else and being responsible for something he didn't do. No wonder why he snapped completely. And if you keep thinking, if he wants to be himself, so Ryan, he needs a sister. And in that way the story um, is well created because all along you see Ryan with one face and uh, pretty much well no so it's not suddenly I mean kind of slowly it's changing but when it's changed it's it's really like what you didn't see that coming it, it's it's good for that and when you have the change you kind of immediately and pretty much until the end your reaction towards him changing and it's kind of a repulsive one it's pretty much understandable why you have such a reaction but you need the final explanation which coming really at the end of the movie Jennifer Lawrence is once again convincing in her character and convincing us that she is definitely talented for those who like being scared, maybe this one won't be enough for you, but for the sensitive one just like I am, this is quite enough. The House at the End of the Streets is a really good movie, very, very thrilling one, something not to miss. Thank you very much for watching this review, and until the next time, have a really good day.